Rifleman. Starring Chuck Connors. you out this way trailing you with a wire message sheriff up at the county seat says you can take your prisoner into santa fe instead of going all the way to indian bend oh that's fine shortens our trip a day uh, sure sorry to trouble you like this though lucas no trouble micah mark and i were on our way to little butte to take in the county fair mr reynolds well don't you remember me no can't say as i do boy well about three years ago you remember down in that ravine, I, I was hurting. Well, for gosh sakes, how you been, son? Three years ago, Mark was bit by a rattler. This man Reynolds found him and took him to the nearest town. Micah? What are they gonna do to him in Santa Fe? I'm to be hanged, boy. Hanged? He saved my life. Paul. Come on, son, we better be going. Come on. Where are you putting up, Lucas? Oh, I figured the river bottom. Well, why not stay here? It'll be an hour before we get to the river bottom. By the time you get up a good cooking fire, Mark will be falling asleep. Why, uh, I wouldn't worry about him. Mark will be safe enough. Well, I guess it would be late before we got bedded down. All right, Micah, we'll take advantage of your fire. Son, you get the bedding down, and uh, I'll get the grub together. Fair enough? But I won't be eating, Paul. I'm not very hungry. Five-hour ride and not hungry? All right, son. Well, nothing like a long ride to make you appreciate bedding down by campfire. We both ought to sleep good tonight. I guess so. Doesn't seem fair. Just don't seem fair, Paul. Him dying and getting nothing in return for, for helping me. Some things just got no answers for. Boy's taking it hard, Micah. Well, I can see where Mark might be adding it up like two and two. Reynolds saving his life than losing his own. To a boy, I, I reckon it just don't make sense. Well, there'll come a time in his life when he'll find out that nothing is ever so simple as adding two and two. I don't envy him that time. Hey, uh, you're gonna need this. Hey, my key. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> hey, boy, you've grown some since I saw you last. <laughs> I guess I got a little bigger. Uh, I've heard about you now and then. Oh? <laughs> I don't have to ask if it was anything good. Uh, I guess it wasn't. I'm... I'm sorry to hear about uh, this here predicament that you're in. Like they say, make a bed. It's, it's the one you're sure gonna lie in. Right. Oh, reckon it's about time to turn in, Lucas. Yeah. Good night, Micah. Good night. I'll stake out the horses with Micah's son. Be right back. All right, Paul.
Still awake, son? I can't seem to get to sleep. Mark, I told you before, there's nothing anybody can do about Mr. Reynolds. I know, but I sure wish there was. Well, maybe you can sleep if you think of something pleasant, like the county fair tomorrow. Maybe. You know, son, pretty soon, maybe in the next year or two, you'll kind of see things differently. Maybe it'll be for the better, and maybe it won't. But every boy comes to an age, a time, when he knows certain things have to be the way they are. It's a good world, Mark. You'll see that. You'll see plenty of sunshine, but you'll also see some dark clouds coming your way. It's just the way the world is. Happy times, good times, but always some sad times. Good night, son. Good night, son. There's a mountain lion bothering the horses. You stay here, Mark. instead of yours. Two or three minutes for saving your life. That's not too much to ask. You were in a bad way that day. Real bad. If I'd have left, that'd been the end. But I stuck my neck out for you. Thanks. He's given up on this meal. Yeah, they generally only make one try. I think we can go to sleep. Yeah. Come on. My key. He had my key. I must have lost it when I got up. Well, I, I guess I take the prize for stupidity. Mark, did you see what happened here? Did you see Reynolds find the key? I wasn't looking at him. You must have seen him leave. There must have been time to call out or run to us. Mark, answer my question. Could you have called out or run to us? You saying you deliberately kept quiet? You deliberately let Reynolds escape? Pa, I couldn't call out. I just couldn't. He, he saved my life, Pa. I wouldn't be here if it weren't for him. Mark Reynolds was a prisoner, an outlaw. You had no right to let him get away. Not when you could have stopped him by calling out to Micah or me. It's not his fault, Lucas. He feels he owes Reynolds a debt, and it's got him a little mixed up. There's no mixing up right or wrong, Micah. You get our things together. Micah, Reynolds probably headed north toward the Badlands. Logical place for him to hide out. 
I'll saddle up and get on his trail. I'm sorry, Paul. One thing is sure. We're not going to the county fair this year. I'm taking you over to Abe Mirage. You're going to stay there. I'm coming back and help Micah track down your friend. Howdy, Abe. Hello, Lucas. Haven't seen you in quite a while. Hello, Mark. Hello, Mr. Marar. Abe, hey, you mind if I leave Mark here with you for a while? Mike and I have to head north after a prisoner who got away from us last night. Why, of course you don't mind. Be glad to have you, Mark. Got several little jobs around here I could use a little help on, if you're willing. I'd be glad to. Be back when I can. I'm sorry, Paul. Been causing trouble, young fella? Sure have. I was all riled up at me. Well, I wish I had a young fella like you to get riled at. I've never seen my pa so mad. It was my fault that that prisoner got away. Pa and I were starting out for the county fair down in Little Butte. Then we kind of took a detour, and we had to give this message to Micah for... All I know about this squirrel gun I found in your barn, old man, is that it's loaded. How straight it shoots, we'll both be finding out you move one finger the wrong way. I wouldn't put too much confidence in that gun if I was you. I got the same advice for you, old-timer. I wouldn't put too much confidence if it's gonna go over your head. Go in the house. You too, boy. Fella. Maybe. Now look, old man, all I want from you is food, water, and a horse. And this handgun. Now you be real obliging. There'll be no trouble. Got no horse to spare. That one out by the barn. You were trimming. That'll do fine. You go out and saddle him. Boy, get these canteens. Fill them. Didn't you two hear me? What you take at gunpoint, you take. But I'm darn if I just hand the horse over to you. Now look. That sheriff and the boy's father are about a half mile north. And the sound of this in this room won't carry more than a hundred yards. Now, do we understand one another? I say it again. You take it, but I'm giving you nothing. You'd better do as Mr. Reynolds says. Boy's got sense. I hey, hope your paw didn't take it out of your hide. My paws never hit me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you didn't do any woodshed yelping over me. I figure we're pretty good friends by now, huh? I'm no friend of yours. I know you owe me that deal. Of... Mr. Marar. You old fool. Don't worry, son. I've carried bigger pieces of lead than this. Well, you'll be carrying a bigger piece between your eyes. Try something like that again. He's only nicked. You can't hurt those old buzzards. Come on, get those canteens filled. i get some food. I'm putting a bandage on Mr. Marar first. Well, it doesn't make sense, Mike. Reynolds leaving such an easy trail to follow. Well, all he'd have to do is stick to those rocks up ahead, and he'd have us guessing. Now, look, he was running along there. I, uh, I seem to recall a creek up ahead. Well, if he's backtracking, he's probably used that creek to throw us off. We'd better get moving. Come on, he's had enough attention. Get those canteens filled. We got a long way to go today. We? Yeah, you're going with me as far as the border. This boy's father shows up, you tell him I'm holding a strong hole card. I want no rifle bullets flying around my ears if he catches up with us. I tell you once more to fill those canteens. I'm not going to be using words. Move!
Where do you keep your tobacco? You're kind of pressing your luck, aren't you, old man? I quit using strong language some time ago, or I'd tell you where to get off. <laughs> well, don't take it all. happens to that boy, his paw will hunt you down. Nothing's gonna happen to him. He's just my insurance till I get to the border. Matter of fact, I like the kid. You mean you still haven't filled... Let's go. I was right. He's circling to the south. That means he'll be cutting across the valley to steal a horse from one of the farms. Yeah, and Abe Marar's place is the nearest. Right where I left Mark. Let's take a rest for a minute. bothering you, boy. Nothing's bothering me. Well, you take it easy on that water. You won't be finding any between here and the border. <laughs> Kerosene! Kerosene! You figured on slowing us down, didn't you, boy? Well, you did. In fact, you sold yourself down right about to a stop. Kerosene. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, kerosene! <laughs> that took guts, boy. I like that. Yeah, what do the boys hear that? They won't believe it. <laughs> now we can't get across these wastelands without water. And yeah, we'll have to veer east. There's a ghost town, 10, 11 miles over that way. You get some water there. <laughs> Come on, mount up. Reynolds is pretty sly. He said he's heading for the border. I'll bet he took another trail. Well, but in this case, Lucas, he's headed south. So it's my guess he's trying for the border. Well, he probably felt safe enough talking about it, Mark along with him as a hostage. Well, Abe, first farm we pass, we'll fetch you out a doctor. Don't worry about me. You pick out after your boy. Well, take care of yourself. You ever been in a ghost town before, boy? <sighs> Further up north. I remember when this was a hustling border town. Part of the regular stage run. Come on, let's go inside. too far behind us. No sense tangling with him unless I have to. So we're gonna part company here. I'm gonna tie you up so you can't cut short my time getting away by going back. Don't be here. Boy, I'm gonna tap a gun butt off your head if you don't settle down. Put your hands behind. That's more like it. Well, they've turned east. Yeah, couldn't have been too long ago. Mike, if he's harmed that boy, I'll bury him right where I find him. Come on. K. 
kerosene. I gotta make you drink it. <laughs> There's a, a pump across the street. I'm gonna go over there and fill these up. And if you're loose when I get back, I'm gonna hang up by your feet. Make sure you stay put. This wouldn't have happened if you had interfered. Now, let's not start all over again, boy. Reynolds, the way I figured, you got a fair trial and a fair sentence. Frankly, I don't think you deserve a break because I don't think you'll ever change. But, uh... Well, you tell him, Micah. Lucas and I have been talking it over. We're all going up to Santa Fe together to see the governor. Maybe he'll think you got a favor coming and swap your hanging for a prison sentence. Well, can't say as I object to a nice airy cell instead of stretching some rope. Feel better now, Pa. Us doing something in return for Mr. Reynolds. You feel better, do you? Well, you just remember when we get home, we've got a few things to talk about. Oh yeah. <laughs> 